what is going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the roundup discussing some of the latest specifically more updates on what we discussed yesterday because today we did got some breaking news in regards to a match that's gonna be happening at wrestlemania 34 and we are talking about the fabulous moolah wrestlemania 34 battle royal match today we got some breaking news as wwe announced that they're gonna be dropping the name of the fabulous moolah from the battle royal so now it's just going to be the wrestlemania mania women's battle royal match and we kind of saw this coming right i said it yesterday it wasn't the right decision for wwe to put her name on it i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys felt the same way as well 72 hours later after this match was announced wwe had no choice but to rename it and pretty much just drop the fabulous moolah name from it so right now i want to discuss all the latest in regards to the situation multiple reasons why the change happened and also other latest news in regards to wrestlemania 34. So to start off, WWE decided to change the name of the Fabulous Moolah Battle Royal at WrestleMania 34 this year after all the negative feedback that they got from the fans. A representative from WWE issued a statement today making the announcement it was revealed that the match will be called the WrestleMania Women's Battle Royal. The statement indicated the following, after further consideration, we believe it is best to proceed with the name WrestleMania women's battle royal what remains most important is that this historic match is part of wwe's unwavering commitment to the women's division there were so many negative feedbacks that wwe ultimately had to remove the comments or i should say disable the comments for the video that they posted which show a tribute to the fabulous moolah and also announces the match at the same time but there was more to it because as i reported yesterday there was a petition for this match to be renamed there's no doubt that wwe had a multiple choices on who they could have put this battle royal in name of but instead it is clear that they ended up making the wrong decision and i have no idea how this went by vince mcmahon and approved by vince mcmahon and everyone that is backstage you telling me that nobody ever said anything in regards to this will probably be a bad idea due to her history but there's more to it and probably the primary reason why wwe ended up changing the name of of this match according to fightful.com there is more to it than just the backlash from the fans on social media and the company's decision to change the name of the women's battle royal rust of fightful.com revealed that he heard from a source that snickers which is the sponsor for wrestlemania 34 complain about the negative publicity associated with the fabulous moolah name which ultimately led to wwe having no choice but to again rename the match to add even more to the sponsor situation case i see it's indicated that fans contacted snickers with letters and also signed a change.org petition that petition which i discussed received over 10,000 signatures eventually that parent company for snickers said they contacted wwe and expressed their disappointment so multiple sources are indicating that this is one of the reasons as for wwe themselves we do got a tweet from stephanie mcmahon addressing everything that is going on she tweeted out the following thank you at wwe universe for using your voice what remains most important is that at wrestlemania women's battle royal will be a historic match and is part of wwe's unwavering commitment to our women's division she pretty much indicated what a wwe representative said earlier to multiple sources as far as the name change goes the big match appears to have a plain name at the moment as it is not in memory of anyone but they Dave Meltzer believes that WWE could possibly attach another name to the match title. One name that comes to mind is a Hall of Famer like Trish Stratus already, whom of course is still able to go in the ring, but she ultimately paid the way to what we see in today's WWE division for the females. There's also many other names that WWE could have gone with where they could have avoided such negative press. And to be honest with you guys, I'm surprised that it took them three to four days to change the name of this match the announcement shouldn't have been made in the first place moving on to some other news and more latest in regards to wrestlemania and sticking with the women's division as ringside news is reporting the following wwe nixon 
is planned for Sasha Banks vs. Bayley at WrestleMania 34. While discussing this year's WrestleMania card on today's installment of Wrestling News Server Radio, Dave Meltzer indicated that the planned Sasha Banks vs. Bayley match might not take place at this year's WrestleMania, and it certainly doesn't seem like it will, since they will more than likely be part of the Women's Memorial Battle Royal match. Dave Meltzer indicated that with a stacked card already, the belief is that they don't need any more matches. He indicated, I think we got the whole WrestleMania card. I got 14 matches listed and I don't think they need more than 14. I don't think they are going to have any more. They could still throw in a Bailey versus Sasha Banks match, but I am guessing that they are both in the Battle Royal. I don't mind Sasha Banks and Bailey being in the Battle Royal, but I would have preferred to see a singles match between them. Just because their storyline heading into WrestleMania 34 right now is more interesting than a lot of the feuds that are currently happening on SmackDown Live and also Monday Night Raw. They have the whole friendship dynamic which they are trying to figure it out at the moment and they're going back and forth confused with one another and ultimately they're gonna reach a boiling point which we're just gonna be wanting to see a new match between both of them and it would have been great to see at our WrestleMania 34. But what I can see it happening is at the Battle Royal they could be the last two in the match and ultimately that could be when they turn on each other or they could be at least top three and one of them turn on each other in a heel fashion where ultimately they will end up facing each other at SummerSlam 2018. So later on this year right here in New York City and since we've seen it before maybe we'll get to see another Iron Woman match. And moving on to some other news and the very latest in regards to Jeff Hardy so in an update to his return to the WWE Jeff Hardy is reportedly set to appear at WWE's Performance Center next week to begin preparing for a return to television. As previously noted, it has been reported that Jeff Hardy appeared in the Ultimate Deletion filming last week, but there is no words if WWE plans to edit him out due to his recent DWI arrest. Considering that Jeff Hardy is ready to go, chances are the WWE has something planned for the Hardy Boys at WrestleMania 34 already, so chances are Jeff Hardy will be coming back or at least appearing in the ultimate deletion match. Moving on to some other news, new reports coming from Ringside News is indicating that WWE UK superstar Tyler Bate is out of action with a minor knee injury. It was reported by Dave Meltzer that Tyler Bate was originally scheduled to team with Trent Seven as part of the Dusty Rhodes tag team tournament. They taped an angle at previous tapings to set up Pete Dunne and Roderick Strong as a tag team and they replaced Seven and Tyler Bay and went to the finals. WWE also changed the bracketing after it was first announced. This indicated another change of plans. And on some very big news, on Friday morning WWE will announce that WrestleMania 35 will be hosted at MetLife Stadium once again in New Jersey. Two sources with knowledge of the situation confirmed to New Jersey Advanced Media today. Adam Hopkins, a spokesman for WWE would not confirm the coming announcement when he was contacted by New Jersey Advance Media. Maylight Stadium officials did not immediately respond to requests for comment. So expect this announcement to be made within the next 24 hours. And the last piece of news that I want to discuss with you guys, and it's going to be a quick one because I said I'm not going to be covering it too much, or that I wasn't going to be covering it anymore, but Johnny Bravo, the person who is currently investigating the Roman Reigns and Steph steroid situation indicated that on Friday March 16 he will be releasing the full videos including evidence of Roman Reigns involvement in this whole steroid scandal. He is also set to release other WWE names that are involved so if this is the case I will be covering it and keep you guys up to date to it. I guess by tomorrow we're gonna find out whether we all been worked or not and whether this even matters. Anyways you savages uh, thank you for watching I hope that you guys enjoy if you guys did Oh boy, drop that like button. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys are ready for WrestleMania because we are three weeks away from the big event. And you already know I'm going to be keeping you guys fully up to date on all the latest. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And turn on those notifications to not miss anything. And before I bounce, guys, a cheap plug. My second channel is about to hit a 2K subscribers, you savages. Thank you for the support on it. And if you are still here and you haven't subscribed to it and you enjoy Fortnite, night or you enjoy me either live streaming or also playing other games than just wwe 
games or covering other stuff than just WWE, make sure that you guys follow it, subscribe to it, also elbow drop a like on it because I truly will appreciate it. In case you didn't know by now, we have been grinding over there, so check it out and don't miss it. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. I'm Mitchell T. Dig it.